This video was brought to you by Sky Firearms. For more information, check them out at sky.com. That's S-C-C-Y dot com. Hey there folks, Paul Markle from Student of the Gun here, and today we're going to talk about how to upgrade or reinvigorate your old or your well-used aluminum AR-15 M16 magazines. And it's really all not that hard, so if you've never done it before, pay attention. I went to the Brownells catalog and I got two things from their website. Number one, I got this Brownells AR-15 M16. It's called the Magazine Lip Gauge, right here. And then I went and bought a three-pack, these come in three-packs, of enhanced followers these are from Magpul all right and it's easy to tell because they're yellow why would we want to do this why would you want to upgrade or reinvigorate an old magazine number one these old GI Joe magazines we didn't know better back then back in the old days we didn't know better and what will happen especially as these get older that will happen you'll get tilt you'll get follower tilt as you're either loading, as, as you're shooting, whatever, you get this follower tilt, and that's really, you don't need that, and it's not a good thing. And a lot of these green follower mags have that. All right, step one, how do we disassemble this magazine? These were designed so that GI Joes could take a piece of cleaning rod, this is an M16 cleaning rod piece section, and you put it in the hole. So I'm gonna put it in the hole, lift it up a little bit and slide it and that's all i need to do is just slide the tab past there now i'm going to put my finger over the top here because there's a spring inside grab this pull it out ah, and you see what happened the spring wanted to come out so working around this actually this spring's actually not that bad it's actually not that dirty uh, oftentimes when you disassemble your magazines you find that they're pretty filthy inside and you can take your cleaning rod and a piece of rag and you can shove it in there and clean out the dust and dirt and grit or whatever and you could also do the same thing with the magazine spring you can take the magazine spring and wipe it down you know give it a one down. remember we don't lubricate we don't put oil on the inside of our magazines or on the springs because oil attracts dirt and dust and funk all right so i want to get rid of this guy super easy i'm just going to take this off I'm going to rotate the spring here, the little clip, and I'll pull it off. All right, I'm going to set this down. Now, before I go any farther, I want to check the gauge. I want to check the lips on this, because this is where aluminum magazines wear out and go bad, is after so many times, you know, thousands, hundreds, thousands of times of being used, often the aluminum lips will spread out. How do I know if it's good or bad? It says, no go and go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on the back here, right on that little ledge, and I'm going to just let it go down. Now, if it goes all the way down past the lips, that's a no-go. If it only goes down a about halfway or maybe a third of the way, that's go. So what I know is the lips on this magazine body are still good. So if the lips are still good and the spring is still good, what do I have to replace? All I need to replace is the follower. And this even says 5.56 on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the spring and I'm going to hook it onto the new follower. All right, it's on the new follower. I'm gonna go ahead and rock it in there. And then all you have to do is work the spring back in. You hold the spring down. Now remember we put the uh, the floor plate on from the rear so once the springs down as I'm talking and doing this on camera put this, that down slide it in slide it in slide it in until it clicks there we go now I have an upgraded uh, follower that's a non tilt this will not as you see this won't tilt It's an anti tilt follower uh, the springs still good the body's still good so I should get Lots more use out of this aluminum G.I. Joe magazine. So there you go. All right, guys, Paul Markle from Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life. <laughs>